Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play in the Winter Night with Melk and Maestro Eriks in the Paladin as he ventures deep into the Charwood, the mysterious place that somehow never seems to change. Alright, that's unlocked. Ooh, old scroll. As a trap. Silver ring. And the helmet plus one. Well, oh, that's probably worth something. Alright, handle that please. What does the old scroll say? Hopefully a good knock-knock joke. This wedded scroll is severely time-worn and covered with almost indecipherable runes. There's a handwritten translation across the bottom, showing this to be the some manner of religious text written by, the, by a Navarrese pr priest. Yeah. Part of the translation is that of particular note. The lands of Nether will one day return to, to the destiny to which they were born. Its people shall rise up from their ancient graves and rule all those which have come after them. Well, that's uh, a nice story there, Sunshine. But for now I think we're probably safe from the wrath of the uh, Netherese. Restored all my turn on that. Ooh, boots of striding. I already have those. Oh well. They'll sell for a good price. Rain is making me think of a song, but for fear of copyright strikes and the fact that it's a Dutch song, I'm not gonna sing that. Plus, I'd have to change the lyrics on the fly, so it's probably best if I do. Not all that scary. Mostly because they're unable to hit me. Hold them off, Tommy. I'll just buff him here for a moment. Skeleton warriors are nasty. Not particularly tough, but nasty. Uh, war ammo plus two. Neat. Right, let's go retrieve him. It was so. Yeah, yeah. Come along. Far am I from leveling? A little ways off. And let's continue on. No, 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 no. It's locked. Is there anything else around here that's. Nope. Just some gold pieces. Alright, good. That's the exit. But I'll explore here for a little bit longer. More wraiths. Oh, that's liable to leave a scar. And a glowing pillar. Alright, my innate adventurous sense tells me that's probably not a very good thing. 
Then my adventurous sense also tells me that's probably not a bad idea to check it out. I mean, what could it really hurt? It's just a pillar. Ooh, corpse. A journal and a crossbow plus two. That's neat. Let's see. Well, that's gonna replace my regular crossbow. And the journal. Right. This book has been severely damaged by the exposure to the elements. Large part of it are surprisingly legible. Though this book has been severely damaged by exposure to the elements, large part of it are surprisingly legible. Included in its pages are translations of the runic language used by the ancient Netherese. The remainder seems to be the personal journal of an unnamed explorer who had come to this region determined to find an ancient Netherese temple, which he referred to as the Ruin of Gur Atoll. The last page is of particular interest and reads, I have decided to camp in the forest tonight. Whatever has happened in childhood, it's, certain, it's something I certainly don't want to get involved in. The villages there are frightening and will be of no help in my search for the temple. It's best I just avoid them entirely. Resting in the forest will be and uh, will not be much better, however. To think I scoffed at the tales I was told of, being, of it being haunted. It is so eerily silent. Yet, I will not be deterred. The secret portal that leads to the ruins of Guratol must be in this area. And I will find it. If I am right, the treasure that will still will still be there will make all these long bonds worthwhile. Well, I can sympathize, but you're probably a bit off more than you could chew. Alright, bullets of smiting. And the pillar that's making an annoying noise. This pillar is weathered with age and covered in mo with moss and small vines. There's no telling how long it's been standing there. Of particular interest are the large runes that seem to cover most of, the sur of its surface, in no language you recognize. With the help of the notes of the explorer in the explorer's journal, you identify the runes as ancient Netherese and piece together a rough translation. The runes have been placed on depressions, three rows of four runes. Pressing one rune in each row results in a three-letter, uh, three-word Netherese phrase, the effect of which is unknown. Do you wish to press a rune in the first row? Well, uh, the Nether. Second row, uh, shall. Uh, what was the third word again? Rule, right. Uh, that would be three. She press the last rule and the pillar begins to hum. And it's still making that noise. Now we have a portal! Yay! I think. Let's explore. Surely it can't be that dangerous. Haunted crypt. Be gone! Fire! Stand still so I can hit you! Soleno, Ooh, skeleton chief, those are nasty here. <laughs> Stop dying. That's annoying. Nope. Alright, let's just test it for a moment. Can I smite you? 
Yes, I can. Right, good. It was so strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as long as we're here, might as well go empty out our inventory a bit. Get so cluttered with all this stuff. Alright, he's favorable. Uh, probably don't need that. Alright, I think only the fire bullets. Bullets of smiting. I don't really want. And other than that. Ooh, Eris, the vampire, of course. And just some minor treasure. Yeah, I think that'll do. <laughs> Alright, back to the ruins of Goratol. wants to actually tell Tommy to stop fighting like he does, but I kind I do need this distraction and uh, the occasional damage that he brings. I mean, resurrecting him for uh, 150 gold pieces is not that bad. All in all, I'm certainly not going to be losing the game over just that. All right. So. Some of these will probably have weapons. Ah, oh, it's done. And great swords do sell for quite a bit. Nice. We check over every inch of this place so we get all the treasure. Otherwise that adventure would have died for us in vain. Even if we didn't know it yet. Bolts of fire, that's good. Peace, yay. Alright, what can I see of this tomb? Barely anything. That is uh, not good, I guess. Let's check. Are you vulnerable to this? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but you probably are. I don't want to fight you. Guess you have slightly more hit points than I thought. Luckily, you're just standing there doing nothing. Alright, now we can fight the zombies. Hey! Mm -hmm. 
and that protection is not going to help you, zombie lord. I strike right through you. And because you're not very good at uh, fighting with atomic weapons, you're not even hitting Tommy that much. Huh? Looks like his pals woke up. Okay, okay. Right, plus one Kalas, and that back is full. Not a skeleton, good. I think. It says I can loot you, but it doesn't let me. Tommy, would you please come over here? Okay, okay. There's a good boy. Right. Now let's kill the wraiths. Not entirely sure what I should have done, but I guess you can't really do that with uh, undead ravagers. Well, at least it worked. So that's good. Uh, that's actually switchable. Healing him for a moment. to dust. No leaving no loot for me, so we'll move on. And up here is a glowing sarcophagus. Uh, that's probably a good thing, right? Well, let's just loot everything else that isn't nailed down and then seek something that will break the nail. Now what? For crying out loud, get over here. Okay, okay. If you're gonna do this, then you need to be bet in better shape. Here, I have a potion. Right, bark skin. Bark skin. Bless. Speed. Speed. All 
right, let's go kill. It's only a mummy lord, it's just very difficult. I don't really have any fire weapons. That would have been nice. Ah, foul sorcery has turned my weapon to rubber. Luckily, he's crap at hitting stuff. So not that good. Here comes half. I love this part. So far, his summon is actually deadlier than he is. A most helpable touch. All right, come on. Thank you. All right, that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.